I'm Simin Fahandej from the Baha'i International Community's Office uh, at the United Nations in Geneva. So we've just been at an event today inside the UK Parliament um, discussing human rights violations in Iran. Um, what can you tell me about the event? What was your key takeaway from today? Um, I think it was a really excellent event, uh, especially happening um, at the UK Parliament. It was very interesting to see how so many different groups in Iran are facing persecution um, by the government. And I think the, the message that each of the panelists had was that this is a very extensive violations of human rights happening to every single group uh, from the Muslim majority to the Baha'i minority uh, to basically every single minority group in Iran. And what can you tell us about the current situation of Baha'is in Iran? The Baha'is in Iran um, continuously face the same persecutions that they have been facing for the past four decades. So they are deprived of the right to higher education, they're not allowed to go to university, um, they are deprived of the right to employment in the public sector, face uh, enormous pressures in the private sector as well, even their businesses are closed. Um, just last week, um, the houses and the rose water for making facilities of a number of Baha'is in a village uh, were closed down, even though that was the only way of making money, basically making a living after the government had um, taken away from them every other avenue of making a living. Uh, and Baha'is are arrested and imprisoned uh, without any other reason except for being a Baha'i uh, and a host of other um, uh, pressures and persecutions. So why do you think it's important for us in the West here to pay attention to these human rights abuses that are happening systematically in Iran? Well, you see, I, I, I don't think that any um, incident that happens anywhere in the world is an isolated incident. I think what happens here affects Iran, what happens in Iran affects here. So I think it's very important that individually and institutionally we support, um, you know, every country and uh, in the case of Iran I mean the violations have been happening not just against the Baha'is but against many different groups as we saw today and I think it's important to for the Baha to, for the people in Iran the Baha'is in Iran to feel the support from other countries from other organizations from other governments so I think um, I think it's very very important and how important do you think it is that we hold events like this do they make a difference I think it's uh, very important, first of all, for creating awareness about uh, certain situations and violations of human rights. Um, it's also important uh, not just for creating awareness, but to show uh, the people of Iran that they are not alone in facing um, uh, the, the violations and the persecutions that they face. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you.